For much of my life, I have felt I am from nowhere on planet Earth. In fact, at age nine, I became an alien. Just like any father, mine wanted to give me a better future and raise me in a better environment. He had no idea that as soon as he decided to move our family to Long Island, New York, he and his family would become aliens. As I walked to school with rosy cheeks and numb fingers, I knew school would not be the same as in Colombia. It was a good thing I was young and cut up quickly with the language because eating by myself at the cafeteria and playing by myself was getting pretty old. Alienating myself from the other children was all I could do. In 2000, my family migrated south to Statesville, North Carolina. Father did not realize that sadly, at the age of 12, his daughter would experience racism. I felt as if someone had punched me in the stomach. The discrimination truly took me by surprise. I always thought people got judged by their actions, not by the color of their skin. Therefore, I never imagined I was going to get judged by mine. There's a thin line between words and wounds. When these kids shouted hurtful words at me, my blood would boil. And the only way was to put up a tough exterior and fight back. Although inside, all I wanted to do was sit down and cry. As a result, bus 213 of Statesville Middle School had to make two trips every day to separate the Hispanics from the Americans. That way, the fighting and the name calling would stop. As I grew older, honor classes and straight A's in high school would make no difference. Because at the time, the US government would make sure university or college would not be an option for me. At this point, father noticed that for 10 years, his lifestyle never changed and his child would suffer the consequences. He never thought there would be no future in the land of opportunity. As the naturalization process was being taken care of, my family decided I would do like E.T. and go home. But where was home? I no longer felt I was from Colombia. Neither was I from the United States. It was not my choice to come to a different country. I loved both countries, but I belonged in neither. Today, as I hold my legal alien resident card, I am proud to say I am from two countries that I love. I believe all the struggles made me a strong young lady, and I definitely treat people with the respect I always want to get.